YouTube, what's going on? C. Tyson Synopsis in the building. Got a uh, quick uh, unboxing to do today. Got a brand new pair of boots in the building. Um, I just got them a couple weeks ago, or ordered them rather about a week ago. Just came in pretty quickly. Um, Eddie Bauer K6 men's uh, men's hiking boot. <clears throat> Um, very similar, they look very similar to, um, what Danner normally puts out, um, but I got these babies, Vibram Lug Soul, which is really nice, um, it looks like a, uh, it looks like a, a storm welt, uh, construction here, a storm welt construction, or perhaps a Goodyear construction, um, let me see if I can find that out, da -da 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 -da, and I just talked about the Vibram Soul. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a stormwall construction because it looks like, or it looks, whatever the, the wealth is, it's, it's a pretty high quality, uh, construction, um, on this boot right here, it looks, seems to be a little bit of kind of like, I don't know, a little bit, a little bit sloppy stitching on the, on that part, but other than that, the rest of the, the rest of the stitching looks pretty nice. Um, this boot it, it, it is looking pretty damn sturdy. Um, the leather looks nice. Um, yeah, it comes with two pairs of laces. It's got you got the green laces, and then you also got the the traditional kind of um, yellow and brown Tim Tim's laces. Um, it's got a green midsole to match the the green laces, which is pretty cool. I I really like that. Um, it looks like there's a gusset on this, so these are going to be waterproofed as you know as much as you can be. Um, good for the rain. I'm actually about to wear these right now in the rain. Um, yeah, these look pretty nice. Uh, I actually bought them online for um, I think they were priced at 150. I looked up a couple codes, got them for 130. Um, yeah, I'm loving these. Um, I haven't tried them on yet, but uh, yeah, fully gusseted tongue, so you don't have to worry about a whole lot of water getting into those. Okay, cool, and they got a pretty nice insole as well. Nice, uh, I like that. So yeah, usually a lot of times uh, companies they'll try to make their own version of the of the Vibram sole to cut down on cost. Um, so I'm pretty happy about finding that with the, with the boots. Um, I don't, I don't think they offer these in any other color but this. It's kind of like a mid, a mid brown. Not too dark, not too light. Um, waterproof. Yeah, Eddie Bow waterproof. Yep, so these, these boots are pretty, pretty much good to go. Which is nice because it's raining out in Philadelphia, so I'll be able to rock these and stay warm. Or stay dry, rather. Anyways, yeah, I just wanted to come through with a quick update. Um, I'm really liking these. They have uh, a slightly, they're not um, completely unlined. They have a, a, a small lining, original K-series. Yeah, I think these, these boots have been around for quite a minute. Um... I gotta figure. I'm not sure exactly why they have like these kind of double over stitches on the toe. It kind of it looks ugly a little bit, but maybe they do that for for functionality purposes. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's kind of weird because it goes single. It goes like single stitch, and then once you get to the toe, it's kind of like a weird. I don't even know if it's a double stitch. It looks like it just stitched over. You know kind of odd anyways yeah I got a, a bunch of boots um, that I ordered this week I got like six pairs so I'll be doing a couple videos doing some unboxings um, see if I can get some more information on some of the other ones that I got um, Eddie Bauer didn't have a whole lot of information on their boots um, on their website but 
I'm not exactly sure. This I'm sure this is a, ca a calfskin leather. Um, I'm not exactly sure if it's Horween or not, or one of the bigger kind of. Oh yeah, look at that too. Okay, and it's got a, um, a stitch on the on the underside of the of the, um, the sole as well. So yeah, this is the construction of this boot has got to be pretty pretty hefty. Yeah, same as this. Nice. I'm I'm wondering where this was made in Vietnam. Okay, that's probably why the stitching is a little bit suspect. But other than that, I mean the quality of the the products that they're using to put it together are pretty good. So, and for a buck a buck thirty, you can't be too mad. So, anyways, thanks for checking in. I uh, got some more boot reviews coming up, and then uh, you know once. Um, the off season is over. We get into the preseason. I'll start doing more Bucks content. But for right now, besides the Bucks, the only thing I'm really into is is boots and and things of that nature. Um, but anyways, see you guys in synopsis. Take care.